Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, since it is a beautiful day outside, I decided to actually film a makeup tutorial today. I thought it'd be a really good idea because um, I'm actually going to be going out and um, visiting some family, obviously six feet apart, um, taking all safety precautions. I will have my mask and everything. Um, but I decided to put on some makeup today make because it is really nice out. So I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. So, um, I already prepped my face because I just did it before camera. It's just a little much easier. Um, but I will show you the products I did use. Um, today some products will be new that I'll be trying out for the first time. So there's going to be some hits and misses. And then some products are, um, I've used already. They're not really new. Um, first thing is I moisturized my face with this. It's, um, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying this brand right. But Balsia, it's their Jumbo Cactus Water Moisturizer. I actually got this at Costco, and it's just a, it was pretty good for a good price. And this big tub, and you get like a lot, with a lot of products. So it's very hydrating. It really helps my skin because, as you guys know, I'm super dry. So this really does definitely help. Um, and then I use the primer. Uh, I use the primer. Which primer did I use? Oh, I have two. Here we go. I have two. So I use Essence um, Redness Correcting Pore Minimizing Primer. Um, this is pretty new to me. I've been using it for a while though, so but it's still fairly new and still trying it out. And I do like it so far. It does calm down the redness because I do tend to get red over here. Um, and like basically, if you believe, my T zone gets red. Usually it's and dry. It's usually the T-zone gets oily. Not for me. <laughs> so I've been trying this out. It's very affordable. You can get this at Ulta. I where else they sell Essence. I've seen Essence at Harman's. Um, and then I tried out the Wet n Wild Focus Dewy Primer. Um, this is fairly new to me. I know it's not a new product. It's been out there, but it's fairly new to me. Um, I so far can see from looking at my mirror right here that my skin does look a little more glowy with it. Um, not like I'm not really liking the matte look much anymore. I just feel like it makes me look washed out. So I've been trying out more like dewy, luminous, like glowing products because I just feel like the matte is just not working for me anymore. It used to be what I used to gear towards, but now it's just not working for me. And then I obviously primed my eyes with my favorite e.l.f. primer. You guys know this is my favorite eye primer. This is the eye primer that I swear by. Um, it's like two to three dollars. Um, used to be a dollar, and now it's like two to three dollars. But it's so worth it, guys. Your eyeshadow stays on all day. I never have problems, and never creases your eyeshadows, and your eyeshadows blend perfectly. So I, I, I like it. I recommend it. At least give it a try. And then I obviously sprayed my face with my facial mist spray to just set everything together okay and i totally forgot one thing so i'm going to be using um usually use my elf strips um but they're behind me and i don't want to get up so usually you guys know i use my elf tape um strips to uh do my eye stay but since i forgot them and they're behind me and i just don't want to get up during this video and grab them you guys, I'm going to use scotch tape. It's not the best thing to use. I wouldn't say I do this all the time. Really try not to, but if you have to, just do it. I mean, it's not something I, like I said, I would recommend doing all the time. So we're going to start with my eyes, and we have some new products to use for the eyes, so I'm really excited. These are fairly new from e.l.f. So right now I'm just going to line up the tape so I have a good angle. Um... This is what I usually use. Be a little closer so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, I use tape to get that perfect angle. Everyone asks me always how to get that perfect angle, and that's how I do get my perfect angle. I want to ignore my eyebrow. I have an arched eyebrow. It always arches. It's the most annoying thing ever. But hey, I don't. It is what it is. All right, so I have to fix the angle a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, they look pretty even. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so the eyeshadows, 
um, e.l.f. came out with these little eyeshadows. There are the bite size shadows and they look like this. They are so cute. They're so tiny. I think they're super, super cute. Um, I got in Truffles and Berry Bad. They had more, but these are the ones I kind of gravitated at first. I just got these. Um, I really wanted to try them out and I thought about a video with them. So I'm like, you know what? And they are... Were they, they were either three dollars or five dollars i think i'm gonna go with three i don't think they were five dollars and you get four shadows and i'm really excited to try them and also elf came out with their own liquid glitter eyeshadows so i'm gonna be trying out this today i'm not a big fan of glitter but i really want to try this out and i got the color disco queen and they're so cute it's like i think this was five dollars it's like little bite size like look how cute that is i am so excited to um try that out so um i think i'm gonna be going into berry bad first which is this one and i'm gonna be going with this shade right here that's gonna be my um transition color to help all the shadows really blend and i'm gonna be using the brush collab so you can get these brushes this brand you can find at sally's um and i'm just gonna be dipping into that color and if you hear like this it's me just taking off the excess of the color and i'm just going to be going into my crease with that and i'm just going to keep going back and forth um with a windshield if you see me in the corner like looking over here it's my mirror i need to kind of look at a mirror uh to do my makeup i can't really uh <laughs> not look at a mirror so I'm just going to kind of be going like that. You guys can hopefully see what I'm doing. I will best to explain what I'm doing and stuff. But just doing a windshield wiper because this will really help all the other shadows blend. Um, this shadow is coming up to be like, like a peachy brown a little bit. Um, it's a really good transition color. So I'm just going to keep, like I said, I'm just going to keep blending it until I get it to exactly how I want it to look. Okay. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye and just go back and forth this is one of my favorite brushes to use to blend um when I went to go check out this brand at Sally's I will tell you these brushes are not cheap this was $20 guys just this brush I was $20 and um, I was like oh my god can I really spend $20 on one brush uh yeah i can and i'm so glad i did it was so worth it this brush is amazing i love this brush i use it every single day for almost every look i do i use this brush i mean it's in everything i do because it just blends out my the color is so um good so definitely recommend it definitely worth spending the 20 dollars. i don't know if it's 20 dollars. it could be now maybe less who knows maybe they'll have a sale on or something but it's definitely worth it i definitely go back and forth with that brush all the time like it is that amazing um the next color that i'm gonna come in with is this color right here at the end um the camera is picking up making it look really really dark but it's not that dark it's honestly like a mauvey berry color but it's really not that dark i know it looks super dark on camera like i could even see it in my my uh the screen on my camera and it looks really dark I'm like wow that's not really how it looks but uh, that's not really how it looks <laughs> at all i think i'm gonna be grabbing what brush should i use yeah and i'm gonna be using um this morphe brush m441 brush it's another one of my favorite blending brushes morphe is one of my favorite um brands uh, for brushes one of my favorite brands oh my god I recommend their brushes so much love them and they're so good quality they're great quality and the price for these brushes is so good um, so I'm gonna go very lightly because since this color is really dark and I'm put another color in there I don't want to take away from that transition color that I just blended in so I'm taking my brush but I'm going really 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 light with it and I'm just going in there and just lightly doing the same thing windshield wipe motion but I'm going really light and I'm not hitting my the V right here quite yet um, but I'm just kind of really going in there and just windshield wipe motion just windshield wipe back and forth but I'm going really light with it because like I said I don't want to take away 
the previous color. I just want to kind of um, enhance it a little bit. So that's why I'm going really soft to start with because we're going to put another color um, on the outer eye, outer eyelid, and it's going to be a really dark color. And I don't want to take away from the other colors that we're putting in by doing that. So like I said, I'm just going to go back and forth and do a nice windshield wipe motion. But like I said, I'm going super, super light with my brush. I'm not pushing. I'm just, like I said, going really super light with it. So again, just going really, really super light. Feels weird to put on makeup because I have more makeup in a month. I think the last month of makeup on was April 3rd. <laughs> so it feels really strange to actually put makeup on. So I'm like, oh my god, I have makeup on today. I mean, it just feels so strange to me. Um, and then I'm going to be taking, yes. Um, it kind of faded away, but this is the Sigma E25 brush. See, like the writing has completely faded, but this is the Sigma E25 brush. Um, I was recommended this brush, so I picked it up, and now I understand why it's a really good to get inside the crease with really dark colors and blend it out. I also have my handy dandy color lab brush right next to me because I'm going to need this for this color because we really need to blend this out. So I'm going into my Truffles Little Bite Side Palette. And I'm going to mix this dark brown and this black together. And that's going to go on the outer V of my eye and really smoke up this look. So I'm going to do that right now. And again, I'm using the Sigma E25 brush for that. The black has a little bit of sparkle to it from what I can see. I didn't see that at first, so I'm not going to grab too much of the black. I'm really going to focus more on the brown because I don't want like too much shimmer because we're going to have glitter and stuff. So I don't want too much shimmer in this look. So... And I'm just going to be starting at my outer V first, and then I'm going to bring it up to my eye. And see how it just kind of perfectly fits into the middle of my crease? So I'm just going to just keep going in there and blend and blend and blend. And it's really, and then I'm going to start patting. This is another thing I like to do when I try to smoke a look, is I just like to pat the shadow in and just kind of... Blend, 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 blend. Just kind of what I love to do. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing, just blending. And then that's when I come in with my collab brush and I just make sure there's no harsh lines. Because like when you have black, black is such a harsh color and it really is hard to blend. But that's why I immediately work with black pretty quickly. I don't let it sit too long because let me tell you guys, it is really hard to blend black out. It is so hard to blend it out. Um, that's why they say it's one of the difficult colors to work with because it's, you know, really hard to blend out. I really don't like working with black, but it's the best color, I have to say, to do a, you know, to do a, uh, smoky look, you know. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just doing the same kind of motion, I'm doing the padding, and just doing the same thing I did on this eye, and... If you feel like this eye has a little more color, I usually just go back in and just grab more color. There's no problem doing that. You're not going to ruin the look or anything. I'm even tapping my mirror. <laughs> no, that was really loud. Sorry. <laughs> but doing exactly what I did on this eye to that eye. And then I'm taking my collab brush because I see some harsh lining beginning. So I am just going to blend that out. Blend, blend, blend. That's all this is always about. That's really what it comes down to is like blending and stuff. Sometimes I'm like honestly afraid to do other people's makeup because I don't know if they'll like what I, but they'll like my makeup and they'll say, can you do my makeup? I'm like, and I get so afraid to do other people's makeup. I know that's really crazy because I'm just like, Ooh, what if they don't like what I'm doing them or I don't know. They might like it on my eye, but what if they don't like it on their eye? I'll always get really this not confident with myself when it comes to that but it's something I definitely have to work on but then I'm just gonna blend it out okay all right so that is all blended out kind of seeing no harshness um so now we're gonna move on to the fun part okay so I'm going to be taking this, um, okay, this um, brand is called Body Graph 
pro i don't know where i got this brush from but it's just like a small flat shader brush i have no idea where i got this brush from. it must have came in like a beauty subscription or something because i really have no idea where i got this brush <laughs> so for the lid i'm gonna first take a color now sometimes i will just put some glitter glue on and put the uh, glitter down right away but sometimes i find if i put a shadow down that matches the glitter it tends to um go on the eye a lot better and um i don't know it just seems to work better for me so i'm going in with this shadow right here it's like a it's literally a silver sparkly silver color so i'm just gonna you can wet your brush some people wet their brushes i prefer not to wet the brush we're going to be putting a wet glitter on so i don't think um wetting the brush will make it any better so i'm just going to be putting this on my lid and i start with like a padding motion because first i want to see how bold the color is before I even start like you know um so the color is pretty pigmented I wouldn't say it's super pigmented um which is fine because like I said you're putting the glitter right above it so it doesn't matter if the color is not too pigmented but I'd say it's definitely not as pigmented as I was expecting it to be so I was expecting a lot better but that's okay no big deal Okay, I'm going to do it on the other eye. And that's kind of like why I start off with a padding motion. Kind of try to get it as, you know, pigmented as I can. I'm really hoping a lot of these products are hits more than misses. <laughs> because, and I'll tell you guys at the end of the video what I feel like was a hit or a miss for me. Um, but, we will see. I'm kind of really afraid for glitter because I really, one thing with glitter is it's not my best friend sometimes. It really isn't. So, okay. So I'm just going to put the shadows to the side. They're just super cute. I think, and they're so easy to travel with. I guess that's, I feel like is another good view of them. So I'm going to use this one. And like I said, this is the um, Disco Queen. So that's what it looks like. It's so tiny. I really hope this, I have a brush just in case I need it. It's one of like their Morphe, like really small brushes, tip brushes. Like I said, I hate, I hate working with glitter. So I'm really hoping I don't have issues with this. <laughs> it's not one of my favorite things to work with. It can be very messy, um, especially loose glitter. So this is what it looks like. I really hope that I just don't have issues with this right now, especially with this video. I don't like to have issues. I hope it we'll see oh it's very wet <laughs> well I expected it it's, it's liquid it got a little bit in my lashes I'm patting it on and I'm going to actually take my brush I knew I was going to have to take my brush and I'm just patting it I don't want a lot of it so it's okay because like I said you have the shadow down that's going to um okay um Mm. not really feeling the glitter eyeshadow right now <laughs> but like I said I'm not a fan of glitter so that's probably why I'm not feeling it but we will see we'll put it on the other eye too I, and I like the color it's very um very disco <laughs> you can see why they call it disco because it has like all those colors in it okay okay yeah not too bad it's okay guys I wouldn't say it's the best um we'll talk about that towards the end of the video though a little more but I just want to kind of fix it I don't like too much glitter anyway so it's fine um I know a lot of people like glitter to be like really standing out and bold but since I really don't like that that should be a problem okay so now we're gonna do some eyeliner and mascara so the eyeliner that I'm going to be using today is LA Girls, their Shockwave Neon Eyeliners. These eyeliners are amazing. They are so smooth. Um, they have all different kind of colors. Obviously, I don't really step out of my range of using black. <laughs> but I do want to try their white because if this is so smooth, I'm wondering if their white is pretty smooth because usually it's not. So we'll, we'll figure that out. But So I'm just going to... Oh, well, I totally forgot. Hello. This is where you can remove your tape. I'm totally like forgetting the step. Uh, 
I actually forgot the tape was on me for a minute, so I'm going to clean out any fallout, but like I said, there's actually no fallout at all, so it's just, that's actually really good. That's a good thing. Fallout is not fun to have. And then I'm going to be putting on the eyeliner. I always put eyeliner on me on my waterline. I never use my, I never use liquid eyeliner, guys. I don't like the way it looks on my eye, it really. I feel like you like, I don't know. I don't like the way I liquid eyeliner looks on my eye. So. I just put eyeliner on my bottom line. My waterline. I just like how smooth this eyeliner goes on. It just goes on so smooth. It's so black. That's why I really like it. And it's it's really affordable too. Because I, I used to use Urban Decay all the time. And I mean that's not too bad. That one was like $24. But this is like I think $7 or $8. I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and I have two new mascaras that I'm going to be trying out. This uh, Well this is the Essence one called You Better Work. It's the Length Definition Mascara, and they call it the Gym Proof Mascara. I have Gym Proof, interesting. And then this is the L'Oreal Mascara. This is their Unlimited Mascara. So this mascara is pretty cool because you can either use the wand straight or it, I don't know if you can see this, hold on, or it bends. And you put it on like that. It's like for more lengthening. So it's like a really good lengthening mascara. And then this is like the same thing as both for like lining. So I'm going to use the Essence one first. Essence mascaras are my favorite. They're so affordable. Um, I've tried many of them and I don't know this one. I always like to go to Ulta and try out new ones. Obviously this one I got before everything happened because you know Ulta now is not even open but it's still pretty good. Hmm. Not as black as I wanted it to be, but it's it's doing its job of just getting those lashes awake. Like I said, I haven't put, put makeup on in like a month. So it's kind of crazy to be putting makeup on right now. Alright, that it's not so lengthening, but it did the job. Let's see this L'Oreal one. Oh yeah. L'Oreal never seems to dis, um, disappoint me with mascaras. The only thing about L'Oreal mascaras, they can be a little chunky, but sometimes I have to say I like that look sometimes because it really makes really makes your lashes lashes look really bold and um, bigger. So this is definitely now I'm gonna try with the uh, bending it now, like doing my lip like with it like this instead of um straight. And let's see if it does any. It doesn't really make a difference how you have it. I'm definitely liking this one a little better. This is definitely doing exactly what I wanted to do, making it really bold and stand out like this so far. A little black. Okay. So eyes are done. So I do have some new face products I'm going to be using today. I really hope... This is not a fail, but um, this is from the brand ColourPop. They came out with a, um, a, a line called Pretty Fresh. It's um, their tinted moisturizer and creamy hydrating concealer. So I went to Ulta about two months ago and got this. I actually have tried this out before. This is not new, new to me. I have worn these before, but I wanted to share my opinion with you guys if you have not tried it out yet. Um, I'm in the shade Fair 4N for the tinted moisturizer, and for the concealer, I'm in Fair 05W. I had a girl match me because I, like, I wanted to make sure, but it's kind of funny. I grabbed the same concealer, so I was right with the concealer, but I was one shade off with the moisturizer. The other moisturizer was just, you know, too light. Um, it's supposed to be very hydrating. Obviously, you guys know what tinted moisturizers. Don't expect full coverage. That's not what you're going to get from tinted moisturizer. This is really good if you just are on the go. You want something on your face. Or um, some people like to put this on when they go to the beach. I don't understand that because if you go in the water, it's just going to come right off. But whatever. <laughs> this is just really good if you just want like a fresh, natural look. You don't want like a full face or you don't want so much on your skin. Um, I have to say, from wearing this, it's very light on the skin. Very hydrating. It's not full coverage, but you do have that natural dewy look with it. So that's really nice. I do like that about it. The concealer, 
I have mixed reviews about the concealer. The concealer is okay to me. Um, work very little. I have to. I learned don't put so much of this on because it's hard to blend. But if you work very use a little product and work very fast with it, it seems to work better. So that's what I've learned from it. And then the sponge that I'm going to be using today, I um, picked up a new one. It is the Wet n Wild um, makeup sponge, but this is what the packaging looks like. I thought I'd just keep the packaging for you guys, for the video, so you guys want to see what the packaging looks like. So that's what it looks like. And then this is the little sponge. Super, super cute from Wet n Wild. I usually use e.l.f. or Wet n Wild sponges. Those sponge use. I wet it before the video so it's nice and prepped. Um, so we are going to start. I usually just push my hair back for this part. And oh, here's the product. I'm like, where's the product? And usually what I do is I put it on my hand and I do about like three pumps for now. And then usually I dip my sponge and just go. That's kind of how I work it. So I'm just going to put my mirror right here. And so if you see me kind of looking this way, it's because my mirror is here. Okay. And with a tinted moisturizer, I have to say, one thing I do is I kind of work fast with it. Um, I, I don't, you know, like I said, I'm not expecting full coverage from it. Even the girl told me, she's like, are you looking for full coverage? Because this is not full coverage. I said... No, I'm looking for something that I can wear that's just super natural. Because um, sometimes, like, I just, I want to wear something, but I don't want to wear something. I want to really give my face, like, corner like a break, but not a break. Still have product on my face and feel like I have something on my face. I don't know. I was like, when I was explaining to her, I'm like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> or, or am I just crazy? And she kind of knew what I meant because she's like, no, I totally get what you mean and stuff so she showed me this color and she's like oh ColourPop came out with a really because she asked me well, what is your skin I'm like it's really can be dry more than I would say oily so she told me to go with this one because she said this is really hydrating and has really good ingredients in it and I always bring my makeup down to my neck you should always bring it down to your neck you need to match Sometimes you guys believe your neck will be like lighter than your face or darker than your face. It's like kind of weird, but it's really true. I actually observe that for me. Um, my neck can be lighter than my face. Um, but I have to say, I do like this. It's like I said, it's really natural. I don't expect full coverage, but it's buildable. I have to say the one thing I do like about this is if I build it, I don't feel like it's cakey when I start building it because usually I don't like building foundations because when I build foundations, I find that if I do that, super cakey. My my skin looks like I put uh, like tons, like three layers of foundation on it and I didn't. So this is the one thing that I actually go back, like I'm doing right now, and do two more pumps of it, just two, barely at the pump three. And I just go definitely on both sides and just do it. Make sure you blend it to your ear. You don't want any harsh lines. That's one thing I learned. <laughs> Sometimes I take it wherever I have like little blemishes. Um, but mostly, I mean, it's, like I said, it's pretty natural. I mean, I really don't have any problems with this. It, you know, like I said, I always do like two um, layers. I mean, the girl told me it's buildable because I asked her, is this buildable? Like, do you recommend me to build it? And she said, yeah, if you want to put more on, she's like, you're more than welcome. It's not going to, because I asked her, will it make me look cakey? Because like some foundations will do that. They will make you look super cakey. Like I just want something that's going to make me look glowy and natural. Like I don't care if like my skin is showing through. Like I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but like blemishes and stuff are like showing through. Like I just want to look like I have something on my face but at the same time look super natural at the same time okay so now we're going to work with the concealer and this is what the concealer looks like super cute and like I said with this you don't use so much of it so like that's why I'm kind of going like this because like I said you have the there's no need and I'm just going to do like a little V and I'm just going to do one side of my I am I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the same bra uh, um the same ugh, can't even talk sponge 
and I'm just gonna work with it. Hey guys, sorry, my camera died. I was in the middle of doing concealer on this eye. Um, I just did this other eye just to make things faster while the camera was charging for a little bit. I hate when that does that. The camera always just dies, but we'll just get back to this. So I'm going to be using this new product, um, this new brand called Winky Lux. You can find this now at Target. This is just their um, diamond powder. Um, so see lightweight, buildable coverage, natural looking, and shine free. I'm going to use this to set my whole face. And we'll see how. And it actually comes in a mirror, so I might just use a mirror in here instead of. So I'm going to use my sponge. Um, sometimes that's. I use my sponge instead of a using um, a brush and I pat the powder on just to set it and that's just what I'm doing right now just setting it with the powder I went with medium the light looked way too light for my skin but like I said hopefully it looks like it's matching pretty well doesn't look too bad. So, that's good. <laughs> More of like just setting it where I want it. Like it definitely be set as like over here. And definitely just matching. Hmm. Pretty good. I like how it's like laying. Hmm, not too bad. Not too bad. And then I'm going to set underneath my eyes. I'm going to be using... Um, the brand Haley's Pow uh, Haley's powder. This is the Retouch Perfecting Powder Loose Setting. They're an online only brand. I don't think they have this in the store. I actually won this. I entered a YouTube another YouTuber's uh, contest, and I actually won on my wedding night. So I just put it in the pan. Again, did my thing, and I use it for my underneath my eyes. And I just start here and make my way in. Start the out. Make myself in. Start the out. I actually won this. The night of my wedding, I got a message. I'm like, you're the winner, and I won this powder. And I was actually like, oh, my God, I actually won something from a YouTube contest. I never usually win anything, especially from a YouTube con contest. I usually never uh, win anything. And I was really happy to win this because it's one of my favorite powders now, especially set my eyes. And now I'm going to use a bronzer, and the bronzer I'm going to use is again from the same brand, Winky Lux, and this is in their latte. It's infused with vitamin C, ideal for contouring, blends seamlessly in the skin, and coffee scented. I don't like coffee, but we'll see if it's coffee scented. It does smell like coffee. <laughs> and I'll be using my big Morphe powder brush, bronzing brush for this. And let's see how this bronzer lays. I got latte because all the other colors looked way too dark for me. I was like, ooh, I don't know if that would go. Mm. Lays pretty good. Good color choice. Sometimes I'm not really good at picking colors. <laughs> Especially like at a Target or a drugstore because there's no testers. <laughs> I'm better at Ulta's and Sephora's because there's testers and you know you can actually like, see if the product will match you and then I bring it down to my neck because like I said guys you can't just look really tan in one spot and not look tan on your neck so I really do just bring it all the way down hmm. I like the way that's laying I do really like that okay I love their packaging too Winking Lux you can find all this at Target, by the way. It's a pretty pricey brand. I will not sit there and lie about that. And then I'm just going to add a highlight. I'm going to be using e.l.f. Heart Defensor. Uh, Defensor, yeah, highlight. And this is in Coffee and Cream. And I'm using a Morphe brush just to use a highlight. I don't, oh, M510 brush, sorry. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to blend both colors together. And I'm just going to put this on my top of my cheekbone. Let's give a little glow. Because the sun's out today. we got to be glowing, girls. I like to glow, especially when the sun is out and it hits my face. I'm like, oh, yeah. I like to put it on my nose, my little top of my lip. And just like that, my little hair. Little hair, just glow. And then 
we are going to be doing my brows. So I'm going to be using Ult, uh, Elf, Elf's Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and I'm using the color Nat Neutral Brown and then I'm using the Elf Wow Brow and that is in Neutral Brown. Obviously my brows look so ratchet because <laughs> of everything that's going on but I try to clean them up the best I can. I don't like tweezing, so I don't, I, if I, I don't, I don't like it, I can't tweeze my own eyebrows. I'll be like freaking out. So. They look so much better when like I fill them in. I mean, I have brows. People say, you fill your brows? You have brows. Well, even people that have brows fill their brows. It just makes them look darker and fuller and, I don't know. I like the way they look when they're filled. And I love these products and then just put the wow brown perfect feel complete and then we are going to do the lips so another winky lux product there i'm using their lipstick and this is in the color meow look at this lipstick guys it looks like a pill <laughs> it's like the smallest thing ever and this is the color. I should grab my makeup up mirror a little closer for this. Okay. I was a little nervous about... Because I just picked this, guys, without even opening it or seeing it. I have to admit... I have to say, I picked a good color. I was a little nervous about that. It's really smooth. I like that. Okay. And then, oh my god, that is really smooth. I really like that. Okay, I like that color. Like, look at that. That is, like, such a pretty color. And then, next, last but not least, well, not really last, but I'll be trying out the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. This is new to me. I've never tried this out because, like I said, I want to look dewy. I want to look glowy. That's just kind of like what I'm going for lately. So I'm going to try it out and spray. I'm going to do it. It doesn't really have a smell to it. Oh, it does smell good. Ew. I know I spray a lot, but I just... I spray a lot. I want to make sure my makeup actually stays on all day. That's just kind of how I am. And then I'm going to use the Essence Mascara for my lower lashes just because I don't want them to look chunky. Because L'Oreal will definitely do that. So I'm just going to do that really quick. Just kind of get those popping. All right. Wow. Okay. So we are all done. So this is the completed look. Oh my God, I have not worn makeup in forever. It feels so weird to have makeup on. I've Wow. Okay, so I'm going to quickly, hopefully, I don't want my camera to die. I only charged it for like a, like 10 minutes literally. So let's hope it doesn't die again. So I'm going to quickly talk about the products. Um, I like the dewy spray. I can see from... I can see glow. I, I see my face glowing. So I'm hoping it's a mixture of this and the primer. The primer goes on really smooth. I like that. That These are two hits for me so far. But let's see how they go on throughout the day and, and stuff. Um, another hit for me are the Bite Size Shadows from e.l.f. Um, there is no fallout guys. I don't, it, and also the fallout can be from your brushes. If you're using the right, correct brushes, if you're not using the correct brushes, you're going to have fallout. These shadows, there was no fallout. They blended smoothly. I love the way they look on the eye. I'm going to actually go back and get all of them. I only got two of them. Now I'm going to go back and get all of them. I don't even care if I use the colors, but oh my God, amazing. Go out and get these. I recommend them. The colors are pigmented. They blend. Oh my God. So worth it. The Winky Lux lipstick, I love the color. They gl it glide on so smooth. Um, the pigmentation's on point. So, like I said, this brand is a little pricey, but try out their lipsticks. Um, the bronzer, I like the color I picked out. It seems to be very natural. I don't like a 
bronzer that really stands out. I like to have that natural looking like I have a tan when I'm super pale. But I have to say I really like it looking on the mirror on the side of my mirror right here. I really like it. I like the smell of it. it was, it's a matte bronzer, but I do like it. Uh, their diamond powder seems to be good. I mean, I see it has a little coverage to it. Not too much coverage, but that's kind of like what I like. If you're looking for really bold coverage, full coverage, I don't know. But this says it's buildable, so buildable coverage. So that's telling me you can build it. I didn't want to build it because I don't want too much. Um, another new product. Uh, this is okay. I wouldn't say it's the best. Um, it's really, it's really hard to work with. Um, I only put like a little bit on of it because of that reason, but maybe some glitter glue maybe would have helped it come on a little better. Um, so I don't know if I'll be picking up any more of these. This is kind of like a miss for me. So that's okay. Um, the Essence Mascara, I was expecting a little more thickness, more length. This is a miss for me. But it's not too bad. I did like it for my lower lashes better. So, uh, and then this isn't really the other stuff that's new. I really like this. I will definitely be purchasing it again once I'm done with it because if I want that dewy, natural, just light coverage, I'm going to go for this. It's really hydrating. I feel like I have nothing on my face right now. Um, I'm touching my skin and it doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel like I have foundation on my skin. I just feel like, oh, this is my skin. Uh, like I said, the concealer is not my favorite. It's definitely a miss for me. I don't really use it a lot. Um, it's very heavy. I don't feel like it. I feel like it's heavy. Why this is light, this is heavy. Doesn't make sense to me, but hey. Um, obviously, the Wet n Wild sponge is nothing new to me. So those were all the new products. Everything else is pretty much in my collection already, and I have previously used it. So, yeah, so this is just what my look is for today. Um, I hope everyone enjoys this warm day. Um, we don't get a lot of warm weather. It's dark. now it's gonna we're into May right now, so hopefully we'll start getting, you know, much more warmer weather. Um, so everybody, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, look out for more possible more makeup tutorials, um, possibly trying out new products or old products. We'll see, but yeah. All right, guys. So enjoy your day. Bye, guys.